The following video is a recap of Froki Community Day. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I hope you enjoy my latest adventure as I cover Froki Community Day and do a lot of questing at the same time while searching for shiny frog. Hey there fellow Pokemon trainers. I'm here to talk about the special research story called a bubbly depositation. Here's what you had to do during the event. For step one, you had to make five nice throws with your reward of 10 Pokeballs. Catch 15 Froki with your reward of a Froki encounter and power up a Pokemon 10 times with your reward of 20 Froki candies. And the total rewards for this step were 3,000 Stardust, a Froki encounter, and an incense. For step 2, you had to transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of 10 Raspberries, catch 15 Froki with your reward of a Froki encounter, and evolve 3 Froki with your reward of 30 Froki candies. The total rewards for this step were 4,500 XP, a Froki encounter, and a lucky egg. For step 3, you had to make 3 great curveball throws with your reward of 15 great balls, catch 15 Froki with your reward of a Froki encounter, and evolve 1 Frogadier with your reward of 50 Froki candies. And the total rewards for this step were 4,500 Stardust, a Frogadier Encounter, and one Rocket Radar. For this last step, you claim the following rewards. 15 Ultra Balls, a Froki Encounter, and two Silver Pineapple Berries. And the total rewards for this step were 5,000 XP, a Greninja Encounter, and three Rare Candies. I leave you with my favorite track of all time for these videos, New Wave by Kevin MacLeod. As I encounter the shiny Froki I was able to find and catch during this latest adventure. And we just got our first shiny of this community day. Stay tuned, as I hope to get some more. We just caught our second shiny of the day. Stay tuned to see how many I can. Just got shiny number three. Now I'm on a roll. Stay tuned to see if I can catch more. I just caught shiny number four of this community day. Stay tuned to see if I can get more. We caught shiny number five. Stay tuned everyone. While I was out at the art museum, I forgot to say I caught shiny number six. Sorry for the error everyone. Now back to your normally scheduled programming.
while I was exploring the Waterworks Art Museum route, I caught shiny number seven, number eight, and number nine. While I was on my way home, I caught shinies 10 through 12. Now back to your normally scheduled program. Well, my final shiny count for this community day was 12. Yes, 12 shinies. But if you're wondering why you see nine here in the split screen view, it's because I transferred three of them over into Pokemon Home, then into my Scarlet and Violet versions to have for my Switch games. But it was a great community day nonetheless. And the next episode will be about Global Go Fest 2023. In the meantime, this is Lewis signing off and saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Threads, Twitch, TikTok, and Facebook. Remember, it's time for adventure!